We got something real special here for you. If you don't know number 19, Derek Krause, you're gonna, and you're gonna love him, and you should, folks. Derek, how are you doing? Rob, what else do we know about Derek? Well, Derek, actually, uh, I met Derek a few years ago. He was, was still with Bill McAnally, nice. uh, but he was in the ARCA West. Actually, Derek is a ARCA West champion uh, driver. Actually, I think it was like 10, 10 wins in the ARCA. He also raced East and West. Nice. Um, but they're very successful. And then he went up to trucks. This this is an up-and-comer driver. Um when you get to watch him race, he he's aggressive. He's he goes for the wins. He's not afraid to do it. You know, you have those drivers that you just you just know that they're just not gonna make that. They're not really out to be a winner, and and Derek's a winner. And I'm excited to have you on the show, bud. Yeah, thank you guys. Thanks for having me. So tell us what uh you know, you've been, you know, your 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 rookie year uh in the trucks you finished 11th um and then you know you've just you just keep battling and fighting i know you're you're uh currently uh ranked 11th in the trucks right now so how's it been i mean what what has it been like to jump from the arca to the trucks uh i mean the trucks definitely have a lot more competition there's definitely a lot more a lot more that going to a truck race from the pit stops to to making sure you execute everything right on the racetrack and then also off the track with the racing and how much longer the races are. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely a little bit more challenging, but, but that's always the fun part of it too. You know, we were just talking about, uh, with, with our just past interview with somebody pretty amazing. We were talking about, um, making the uncomfortable comfortable in racing. What do you feel that's the most uncomfortable thing that you have to deal with? And then how do you work on making that more comfortable for you? Um, I'd say the most uncomfortable part about it is just learning the air and makes feeling how much that air can affect you. Uh, there's a lot that goes into it from, from the air, from following somebody to getting loose when they're on your door on the right side. So, uh, that's something that you got to get comfortable with, but it's definitely not very comfortable when, when you're first starting out. Do you think by that you've raced so many tracks across the country and also growing up in, in cold weather, does that give you advantages in certain times or disadvantages sometimes as well? Um, I, I don't think there's any advantages of it. I feel like growing up and racing short tracks definitely helps me going to going to a Martinsville or a Bristol or, or even a gateway in that sense. So uh growing up racing short tracks that definitely that definitely helps on the shorter tracks but then again i have to learn the the bigger the mile and a half tracks the drafting tracks like daytona and talladega so uh there's definitely some advantages of being where i'm from and uh definitely racing at the short tracks is one of them so you talked about the long tracks and you you know you got a lot of that where it's drafting and stuff um you got to battle against people that have big teams right? By, by connecting together and, and, uh, and working together. How, um, how hard is that to try and find somebody to work with you in some of those long races? Um, with, with how this year, luckily I've been able to get a teammate with Kobe Howard. So uh, the restrictor plate races are a little bit easier with a teammate and then being with Chevy, there's a lot more Chevy trucks that are out on the racetrack that you can work with. So uh, that's definitely an advantage of being with a Chevy. There's a lot more Chevy trucks out there and, uh, there's, there's more teams that you can work with and more, more resources really that you can bounce ideas off of. So, uh, that's definitely something that helped us this year going into this year. And, uh, I feel like it's, it's helped us quite a bit actually. So I noticed that, uh, you've been pretty, actually you've been fairly close with Matt Benedetto lately in some of the videos that I've seen. Matt's from our area as well. And he's a cup driver. Have you been able to like pick his brain a little bit? Uh, yeah, he's, he's one of the nicer guys in the garage for sure. He's always someone that you can go to and ask, ask advice for and ask something that like, if you have a question, I mean, if you go up and ask him, he'll be, he'll be the first one to answer you truthfully. And that's, that's the one good thing. If, if someone can answer you truthfully, it's, that's one, that's the best answer. I feel like for, for a driver like me, that's trying to learn as much as I can and uh, move up to the ranks. So I was talking about paying dues and sometimes when you pay your dues coming in, coming up and being so successful, you got guys that are kind of doing things to you, playing pranks and all that kind of good stuff. What's the most memorable for you out there right now? 
Yeah, I'm pretty good buddies with Noah Gregson. And oh. uh, it's it actually this year we um, – I tried parking him in so that he couldn't get in his left side door. And I left my truck unlocked, so he took literally every piece of trash that was in his – in his vehicle and, and put it in my truck. So, uh, that's, that's a, that was a good one. So I give props to him on that, but, uh, overall, I feel like, I feel like I get along with everyone really well. Noah's one of my best buddies. So, uh, he's another guy that I can bounce ideas off of. I like to ask a question in succession is three questions and it's pertaining to you in racing. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Well, That's a hard question. I'd like to say that I do, I don't know. I, I really like qualifying. I know qualifying doesn't matter really at all, but I feel like I do well in that with getting, uh, getting the most out of the truck that I can. But uh, I'd say that that's probably one of the good things that I do well. I feel like staying patient is something that I can do well. And uh, this third year, especially just from everything that I've learned the past two years. What would you say uh, you, need work on restarts uh especially at mile and a half restarts are really big and if you have to lift out out of the gas or or even think about lifting you, you're gonna lose five six maybe seven spots what would you do differently nothing so far i haven't i mean i feel like i feel like everything that i've done so far in my racing career has been been the right move being with bill has been the right move and uh He's been really supportive of me, so it's been been a lot of fun. You know, what's the future? You know, what is what is the future? What is your aspirations? Do you want to get up to the cup? What's what's the next steps you really think that you want to take? Um, I mean, for sure. I mean, that's always been my dream to get to the cup series. Uh, that's something that I've dreamed of doing ever since I was a little kid. So that's definitely the goal. And uh, I feel like if I do everything that I can do in my power, I'll be able to be able to do that. What would you tell a young Derek? Just keep chasing your dreams. I feel like I still tell myself that. What is your favorite track that you've been able to race on? Uh, probably, probably Dover is one of my favorites. I really like going there. I've ran good there the both times that I've been there. Maybe that's why it's my favorite, but I really enjoy going there with how fast it is. Where, where did you start your career? Did you, when you got in the, your first car to race, what were you racing? Um, I was seven years old when I was racing go-karts back at home in Wisconsin. So do you still do racing like in the middle of the season or anything like that outside of, of uh, the current circuit? Yeah. Um, when I'm, when I'm at home, when I have off weekends, I'll go home and race race uh late models as much as i can truthfully is i really enjoy going going back home and racing racing late models because it's a family-owned car it's my family-owned car so uh, i take a lot of pride in that and uh it's always always a lot of fun the focus on the other drivers and yourself and your team what is the most important component to you um i mean it, like on the racetrack wise, it's, uh, it's just, like you said, you got to stay focused for the whole race. I mean, if you right. slip up once, it can cost you a lot of spots. It can even cost you the race really. So, uh, you got to be able to stay mentally focused throughout the whole race. And, uh, that's, I feel like I'm pretty good at that. I mean, there's definitely some times where you can get lazy with it and not hit your line. Right. And you, you'll get, you'll lose two tenths of a second. And at the end of the day, that's quite a bit. It really is. See, I'm always impressed with NASCAR drivers because I mean, you guys are going so quick. You got to stay focused. You got somebody in your ear. I mean, I have a hard time remembering my name, and I sit there, and you guys are going 275 miles an hour down this track, and you got guys trying to take you out. For you, how do you deal with that? Uh, it's really not that's really not something that you think about to be honest with you i mean it's, it's something that you don't really think about and you can't really i mean because you know eventually it's going to happen so uh you can't can't really think about it and you just got to focus on the race i want to ask you about your team you know you have a pit crew and you have people that you're talking to spotters and and crew chiefs and stuff like that 
as you've progressed through the years, how has your um, thought process, because you went from late models, which isn't much of a necessarily a crew to what you're dealing with now, how is your connection with your crew? How, um, how much do you rely on them? How important to just talk a little bit about your crew with us? Um, I mean, it's the crew is definitely really important. I mean, you got to, uh, Bill kind of explains it to me is I got to be the quarterback of the team. So, uh, you got to stay upbeat and you got to keep the guys positive. And that's, that's one big thing that I feel like I'm decent at if everything's going good, but once stuff starts going bad, that's something that I need to work on. But, uh, it's, it's definitely, you got to build a relationship and the better the relationship, the better the team will work together. Who's the guy that's your go-to guy that's going to be the straightforward guy tell you, hey, you're doing phenomenal, or dude, you really suck right now. Let's pull our heads out. I mean, who is that guy? Uh, it's always, I mean, I feel like that's my dad for sure. My dad's definitely the one that'll uh, tell me if I'm doing it right, but he'll also be the first one to, to tell me that I'm doing it wrong. Your first NASCAR win. Do you have a special celebration you ha you're thinking about? You know, like like you score a touchdown, you have something. You had Carl Edwards yeah. who get out of his car and you do a flip of it. You know, some people do different things. I talked to Matt D. Benedetto and he says he'd probably go up and party with the fans. Have you thought about what that first right uh, win's going to be? Uh, no, I have not. I, wa I just want to get there first and whatever happens, happens, I guess. I get it. So burnouts and, and all the good yep. stuff that you'll do, right? That's yep. awesome. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the show again. I have been a big fan since I watched you out here at All American uh, Speedway. Um, watching you in the trucks, I watch every every time you guys are on TV. I'm on it, and um, I just love the way that you've raced and the way that you're always, you know, moving forward. Um, I can't wait to see how, where you're going. I want to see that first win, and I want to watch you as you go up. So I, I thank you very much for being on the show, and I'll, I'll look forward to uh, running across your path in the future as well. All righty. Thank you guys for having me on. Absolutely. Hey, Derek, appreciate you. Looking forward to the great things you're going to do. From all of us here at What Up Sports Nation, to all of you, have a great day and a better tomorrow. What up? What up? Thanks, Derek.